Hey guys, welcome back to Georgia 4 Low. I'm Arthur, and today we are in Panama City Beach, or Panama City, Florida. I'm not, yeah, not Panama City Beach, that's further west, but we're in Panama City, and we just put in at Snug Harbor uh, boat ramp. Very nice boat ramp. I think we'll probably be putting in here the rest of the week. Um, we put in at St. Andrews yesterday, and that place was just a wreck. It was crowded. Um, Stacy was a little nervous with the boat ramp and the parking because it was so tight. I threw up. I literally parked the boat. And, I mean, I'm sorry. See, I still got anxiety. <laughs> I literally parked the Yukon and the trailer in a spot like this little. Hurry up, run to the front of the Yukon and went bleh. <laughs> True story. Yeah. So I'd say her anxiety was uh, pretty high. So today, y'all stick with us. We're gonna do a little exploring. Uh, we're actually uh, we put in at Snug Harbor, like I said. It's beautiful. And uh, we're gonna run through the bay, go down through a couple little canals, and we're gonna come out. Uh, we're gonna go over to Saint. Uh, I'm sorry, Cape San Blas. We need more caffeine, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Cape San Blas. Probably stop over at Port St. Joe, get some fuel, stuff like that. We're gonna have a good time today, just explore and get out on the beach. So y'all stick around. And uh, hope you enjoy the little video. Get off the couch, get outside, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Okay, so we made it all the way to the end of the East Bay, navigating the channel markers, our first time through here. Um, we did drive through a little rain, so without the chart, without the Simrad, some of that may have been a little harder to see or you know, pick up on the channel markers. So, you know, if you're unfamiliar uh, with coming through East Bay, I'd recommend having some kind of chart system. Um, the Simrad worked really well on the uh, 222 FSH for picking up the uh, channel markers and uh, coming through that rain I don't know if we could have I don't know if we could have saw or picked them up with our naked eye probably not but uh, we're gonna continue on we're at the end of East Bay we're in the like an intercoastal canal yep. we're gonna run that out and uh, we'll be hooking a right before I think it's White City and we'll be headed out to uh, Cape San Blast just do a little pan look at all this seagrass or whatever you call it it's just beautiful just a good old thing. good old marsh Backwater marsh area. So peaceful. It is that. Well, somebody had a bad day, didn't they? Uh, yeah. They look like it's been there for quite a while. having fun yet are we having fun yet it's kind of scary her back there driving the boat miss stacy but <laughs> she's got to learn somehow right what oh okay never mind you couldn't hear me so that's good she couldn't hear me so that's really good so when you're coming through here when you get close to this first bridge right here it's a no wake zone the signs are kind of hard to see they're on the left and uh on the left and right side of the channel but this is a no wake zone coming through here and you can see the signs up here, one over here, and the uh, same thing over here. But uh, just remember that it's a no wake zone. Just set the boat down and just kind of cruise through here. Are those buzzards? Ew. Yeah, those are buzzards hanging up, hanging over at that cleaning station. That's hanging cool. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I don't know if you can see them in the video, but there goes one flying off. The 
buzzards are hanging off at that cleaning station there waiting on something to, somebody to come by and clean some fish. That's pretty cool. And uh, we might get wet again. I can hear the thunder. You hear that thunder? Huh? She can't hear me. What? I said, you hear that thunder? Yes. Hey, where are you going with the boat? There's more jellyfish in the water. There's you a good boat ramp. No. Whew, so this is our current situation. <laughs> We're Kinda, in the thick of it. <laughs> well, there's scattered showers today, so it, I don't know. We just have to deal with it. I, I was hoping we were going to avoid this kind of stuff, but it's raining pretty bad right now. I'm soaking wet. You're cold and wet. Look at this old thing. This thing's pretty cool. I don't know. It's kind of interesting what that thing used to do. It'll never see active duty again. It'll probably end up sinking right there and becoming a, a, just another landmark or fishing reef or something. Random yellow chair out there. <laughs> That's a good chair. So that's just part of it. Man, there was a lot of trash in this in this canal. So far, we haven't had to clean out the jet pumps or anything, but they was just pine straw or pine needles, just <coughs> lines of it in the canal. Yeah, everywhere. Uh, if we get out here and the rain quits, I'm gonna check the clean out ports anyway, just to make sure we ain't got a little bit of stuff hanging out in there. But we're gonna try to get up here to paint uh, St. Joe's Marina at the fuel dock, top off, and then go in the store or maybe just sit there and let the rain quit or sit in the boat and let the rain quit. I don't know. Um, Y'all stick around. Maybe the rain will stop and the sun will come back out. But uh, we're having a good time anyways, right? <laughs> just kidding. We are. <laughs> We have arrived at Port St. Joe, soaking wet and all. We're going to go over here to the marina, top off some fuel, and uh, maybe see what this weather's going to do a little bit. It says it's fixed to stop raining in about 50 minutes, 45 minutes. I want to get over to the right well, there. And uh, I got to re-spool two rods. We bought some braided line no, and Hercules stuff off of Amazon. We did. That stuff is not good. I can't keep it from tangling up. I thought I had uh, stripped some of it off the reels. Thought maybe I had too much of it on. But even after that, it's still just tangling up in the guides. I'm just going to strip that off, throw some monofilament on there, and we're going to we're going to go with it. But uh, it's pretty cool. It's made it to Cape San Blast. We're on the uh, the uh, back side of it. It's a little, well, when we pulled up, it's a little windy. So we kind of stay on the back side, maybe get out of the wind a little bit. But uh, beautiful. There's only like two other boats out here. But we're pretty far from the shore, you can see. Water's nice and shallow. Got you a nice little shallow walk. navigate this and not fall down we're gonna go up here and cook some hot dogs interesting thing is huh what is it I ain't worried about dolphins so we we brought our grill and uh, some hot dogs cheese or cheddar dogs Mm. Forgot our tater chips. Forgot the buns for the hot dogs. But we got charcoal, so we're gonna cook them. And we got some fruit and some other snacks. So we're gonna eat finger food hot dogs. It happens. This is our setup. Two chairs, umbrella. We got a little grill. I don't know if you see a little grill. <laughs> Pack nice down in a little rough tote, but this is all we got to eat. We got some cheese, 
we got our cheddar dogs. We got no chips, no buns. What else did we forget? That's it. I think good help hard to find. Good help hard to find. Up. Come in. Packing the food here. Responsibility. What's on there? Nah. So now it's my fault because we ain't got no buns or potato chips, right? Y'all know how this works. The 222's out there anchored up. A beautiful place. Look at that water. This is the back side of Cape San Blast. A little cloudy, but you can still see how pretty the water is, how pretty green it is. And we're just, we got something to eat. So as long as we got something to eat, we're fine. We got other snacks. We're going to eat. We'll probably go around take a peek on the Gulf side and see how it looks over there and uh, we may have to dodge some more thunderstorms headed back in the canal I wanted to go up the beach and uh, go back up to St. Andrews and back in but I'm the weather's just been a little touch and go today I don't think we're gonna do that so we're probably just gonna go back the way we came through the canal that was a pretty ride and uh, a little disappointed today our fishing fishing adventures ain't turning out too good our I gotta get that braid off there. That's some crappy braided line I bought. So tonight I get that stripped. I'm just gonna go old school mono, be done, so we can get to fishing. Uh, we tried fishing yesterday a little bit and had a little bit of action. We just couldn't stick anything. I think the sea trout were just bite. They were biting our uh, flukes and our um, what was that other trout trick that we were using. They were biting it off right at the hook. <clears throat> so we're gonna change up some things. Hopefully get some better fishing in and uh, we'll make a go for it. But we're going to eat and then we'll take you all around to the Gulf side to take a look. And uh, so far it's been a nice day even though we've been in the rain and it's cloudy. But that's just part of it. Look at that. I don't think we're going to starve to death. Boy, we got us a fire going. We got us some little hot dogs. Got us a visitor. Seagull's always trying to get my food. Man, we fixing to eat good. Oh, a little update on the hot dogs. They got finger food going to be fire. We're starving to death. <laughs> we had a couple of chocolate donuts this morning for breakfast, and that was it. Look at them, boy. They're looking good, though. See how far the boat is off from the off the shore maybe there. It's, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. You got like shin knee deep water for 40, 50 yards. That's kind of cool. We're not used to that. We're usually uh what would you call us? Condo hoppers. We stay at a condo there on the beach at Panama City and you know go downstairs and there you are, you're on the beach that quick. So this is kind of cool. This is a new experience for us, uh, actually taking the boat and uh, navigating through the bay and uh, coming out here. There is a, This is just beautiful. There's nobody here. I mean, there's one boat over here. It's a Sunday, and I don't it's see Sunday. another boat. Huh? It's, it's, a Sunday. it's a Sunday, isn't it? A Sunday. We're not eating a Sunday. Sunday? I, I use one word for boat. No. I mean, <laughs> I simplify, simplify my vocabulary. <laughs> oh, it's just gorgeous, though. Good. That was good, even though we just had no hot dog buns. I wanted um, some chips and dip. Yeah, I wanted. Like I know, I, I love eat it. that hot dog real bad <laughs> with that bun. I know I wanted some French onion dip with some ruffles potato oh. chips. That's one of my favorites. And we forgot we got the dip. We just forgot the forgot the dang potato chips. And the buns. And the damn buns. Boat ride too to get over there. Yeah. 
we are back in the cove. I don't know what the cove's called for Snug Harbor, but we're back inside there and we're uh, we tired and hungry. <laughs> We need some bread. <laughs> we needed bread to go to our hot dogs. <laughs> but that's okay. It was Man, delicious. That bay got choppy out there. That wind is blowing, what, 20? I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. It feels like 15, 20 mile an hour wind. Death. It's just rough, that bay. And, uh, but man, I couldn't ask for a better day. That was fantastic. Well, the start was crappy. Let's don't lie. Uh, that's just that thunder, lightning, yeah, torrential downpour. That's just part of boat. When the thunder's so loud that it is echoing around you like a flipping bomb just dropped off. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Is that how it sounded? Yes. Shut what up. Boats are burning, right? A boat builder? Or? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to come back in this little cove and do some fishing. we got to get our rods dialed in. But man, well, some good little fish keep off the crappy line. Don't buy crap off Amazon, y'all. You heard it here. Yeah, you heard it here first. Anyways, hey, uh, thank y'all for watching. And uh, drop a comment below. And uh, we appreciate you. And uh, we'll have some more videos coming this week. Uh, this a is lot more first, videos. It's just our first day. Yes. Well, we, we got into town yesterday, and this is just our first official day here. We put the boat in the water yesterday as well. So. Y'all thanks for watching and stay tuned in.